What is going on YouTube? I'm Accurate OG and I'm over here playing Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Today I'm doing for the first time a game review. And in this game review I'm going to talk about the graphics, the controls, the cinematic, all that stuff you know people would do. And then I'm going to let you guys decide if you want to go buy the game or not. So I just want to let you guys know that I have not played Unity. I was not interested. I heard a lot of bad feedback from Unity so I said I just let that go. But overall... In Assassin's Creed Unity, I gave the game its overall a uh, 7 out of 10. But a brief summary for your parents who are looking for your kids to buy a game, whatever. The, in the link below, I'll leave a description to the ESRB rating about what the game's about. There are a few cuss words. There's not that much blood as there is in Black Ops 3 or whatever. The game itself is like, you know, it's rated M for mature, so that's up to you. But overall, let's get back to the gameplay of the game. So we have the overall rating for me that I gave the game personally is a 7 out of 10. But the graphics, I give that a 10 out of 10 because I was playing on an Ultra HD TV and the graphics looked amazing. I really enjoyed it. On the controls itself, I gave that a 6 out of 10 because I did not like the controls at all. The sneaking for me is not very like, it's, it's dumb to me. Like, I try to sneak, but then I try to pick up some more knives from the dead bodies that killed and it didn't kill them, you know, like. I threw knives, right? I threw two knives at this dude, and I pick up, I loot his body, but there's no knives I get, get, like, I can't get my knives back. I mean, my knives are in the dude, like, can you not just stick them back out? I don't know, it's dumb. The controls back in Assassin's Creed, um, 2 and Brotherhood and all of them, all you had to do was, like, hit the right stick and go forward and press A, you know, like, just to run and shit, and it'd be jumping up, and it was a smooth, like, it was smooth, you know? But in Assassin's Creed Syndicate, how you have to press B and X or whatever, like, circle and X, that shit kind of has me messed up. That's not smooth to me. Because, like, when I'm trying to run, I'm trying to, like, jump off a cliff onto another building. He don't do it easily. Like, I gotta press B, then I gotta I gotta press circle, then X, then circle. It's, it's, it's dumb. I don't like that shit. So, move on to the cinematics. The cinematics were good overall. The cutscenes or whatever, they're pretty good. But they don't make sense whenever they assassinate one of the targets. The dude stands back up. I don't understand why he's standing up. I don't know why he's not laying down dead. We just stabbed him in the throat and he's just standing up again. That don't make sense to me. Maybe it's changed in the Abstergo Industries or whatever. That's still dumb. So anyways, I'm going to go on to the next thing, which is the story. I was Like I was saying, the story overall was really good. Uh, it talk, You can first play as um, Jacob. Once you play as Jacob, you know, you get, he's uh, loud, he go out, he kills, he doesn't care that much. Evie, she's more of a quiet, stealthy type. You know, you get to play both of them, and then the official Assassin's Creed logo comes up on the screen. I really like that, and I remember, I like this one part where, right after the intro, you and Evie raced to the top of a tower, and that really reminded me of um, Assassin's Creed 2, when Ezio and his brother were racing to the top. I was like, oh, yeah, that's a pretty good reference or whatever. So anyways guys, the customization, next I'm going to talk about, the customization itself was quite amazing. I like how you can like unlock costumes and then you can unlock colors for those costumes. Like let's say you're using the basic Jacob Fry outfit, you can cut, you can like change its color to red, black, like crimson, all those other colors. The thing I don't like about it are the skill points. I like the skill points idea, how you can like unlock skill points and level up, but like how they're, sh they're not shared between Evie and Jacob. You have to get separate skill points for Eevee and separate skill points for Jacob. I don't know if that was in Unity or not. I, I didn't play Unity. But overall, it was really good. Uh, everything else was good about it. And one thing I really liked was that as Jacob, I could play as Ezio in his costume. And I'm like, yeah, that's a reference. That's like, that's real as hell. So anyways, the final thought. The game was pretty good overall. Customization was amazing. The graphics, oh my god, the graphics were amazing. And the movement and the fighting itself and the looting and all that, that they were all right. They're not that good to me. So yeah guys, this is Accurate OG. Hope you guys like my new logo, my new outro, all that good stuff. Shout out to my boy Aaron Coat. His uh, email in the description below. Go check him out if you want some YouTube graphics done. Also guys, uh, at the Between Upstergo, I saw Sean and Rebecca again. I don't know if they're trained now, whatever, what's going on. But yeah guys, overall the game is good. If you want to buy it, you should like go check it out if you like my rating. The gameplay is good. If you're a diehard Assassin's Creed fan, you know you're going to obviously buy it. But if you want something to like... A little challenge you know it's, just, it's a time taking game you have to unlock skill points and all that overall it was a pretty good game it was i just played the beginning of it it's all right so far honestly i would not buy the game i borrowed the game i didn't really like it and i'm not thinking about buying it at all but anyways guys that was my review hope you enjoyed hit that like button go check out my last video comments below I'm much obliged and i'll see you guys in the next video accurate og keeping it low key